everybody. How's everybody doing today? Caught me getting in here, getting my yeast. Need one egg for this, some butter. I'm gonna show you how to make the easiest yeast bread you'll ever make in your life. Come on, join me over here, let me show you. You know, for the longest, yeast bread intimidated me. I tried it so many different ways, and believe me, if you try yeast bread, you're gonna fail sometime. But just know that you can learn it if you keep on trying. That's the reason I'm here today. I'm gonna show you an absolutely no fail yeast bread that you can make bread bowls out of. That's what I'm gonna feature, that you can dig out the middle and pour your favorite soup or put your favorite stew or anything you like in it and eat the bread with it. It's so good and so easy. Let's get started, let me show you this. Okay, to start this yeast bread out, very, very important. Do this first so you won't forget it because I have forgot to do this and you don't wanna do that because your bread will stick in the bowl. Just get you some butter, salted, unsalted, it don't matter. Put it in your bowl and just line your bowl real good with butter. See this? I'm just getting that butter all in that. All the way up to the top. What I got here is a quart and a half bowl, ceramic bowl that is oven safe. Get you one of these to make this bread because it's going to turn out perfect. Like I say, follow me to the T on this because I have tried shortcuts even with this recipe and I'll show you where at when I get to that point and it was a complete fail. So follow me to the T. Get your bow, and by the way, this right here is gonna make, and by the way, this, and by the way, this is gonna make two of them. So have your two one and a half quart oven safe bows ready to go. A hide with high, with high sides like this, see that? Make sure it's high side. So we're gonna just coat this with butter all the way up to the top, both of them. Make sure to get you a real good coat, nothing light. Just coat it as good as we go. Just coat it as good as it will go with butter straight out of the refrigerator. It ain't gotta be room temp or nothing. Coat it good. Okay, now let me show you how easy it is to put this together. What I've got here is four cups of all-purpose flour. And by the way, I used a cup scoop to put this in here. You didn't need to see me do all that. You need four cups of all-purpose flour going in a bowl, mixing bowl. Next, what I've got here, I've got two teaspoons of just regular salt. I've got two tea, I've got two teaspoons of sugar and I've got two teaspoons of active yeast right here going in. Okay, let me show you the last ingredient. Didn't I tell you it was gonna be simple? Just two cups of lukewarm water. Use purified, don't use that tap. Now if I have questions about why not use tap, Google tap water and you'll know why. All those chemicals, I don't want that in my food. I only take a shower with that stuff going in. Now here's the fun part. This is perfectly proportioned to make a perfect dough ball. Watch this. Just fold it over. Get everything good and incorporated. Mix it till you have a dough ball. I had to stand up for this one. Keep your side scrape down. I'm, I'm, folding, I'm folding it over and I'm mashing down. I wanna get everything good and mixed in. I'm gonna mix this a good minute or so right there. So you're just folding it over and pressing down. You don't have to worry about, is it too soupy? Is it not wet enough? It's perfectly proportioned. You don't have to do nothing else to it. Okay, good enough. Now see what we got here? See that? What we're gonna do now, and you cannot skip this step because I tried to one time. Let me show you what I tried to do. I went ahead and mixed this up and I thought, why let this rise in this bowl? Why don't I just go ahead and get half of it out and put it in this bowl and let it rise? Don't do it. Don't do it. Your bread will not rise like it's supposed to. It'll go flat on you. So we're going to put, we're going to leave this in this bowl and grab our saran wrap that clings, pour you out some. Put it over the bowl. If the bowl is big on the top like this one is, I'll crisscross it. So we're going to put one on right here. Make sure it's good and stuck. Get us another one. And just let it fold over, stick it, 
Stuff sticks together good. Okay, what we're gonna do now, folks, we're gonna let this rise for two solid hours. Don't touch it before two hours. Don't jiggle your bowl, because if you do, it'll fall. You don't want it to fall. You want it to rise up to its full potential in two hours. Then what we're gonna do is use forks to separate half of it out, get it out, and put it in each one of these bowls. You're gonna have two of them. So we're gonna let this rise right now for two hours. After that, we're gonna separate it, get half of it out, put it in this quart and a half bowl that is oven safe. Then we're gonna wrap it again for 30 minutes. Don't skip none of these steps. I'll be back in two hours. Okay, we've half our dough from the big dough bowl. I've got both of them separated into these buttered bowls and I got saran wrap over them again. Just make sure you put about half of them in each one of them. We're gonna let these sit for another 30 minutes, let them rise again, then it's gonna be time for the oven. We're gonna bake these at 425 for about 30 minutes. Okay, our yeast dough has risen for 30 minutes in our bowls. This is what it looks like. What you wanna do is be very careful. Don't jiggle this bowl around real hard. If you do, it'll fall. Very carefully take your wrap off. Don't let it touch the but don't let it touch the dough or it'll fall. And if you've got dough in your bowl and you got this saran wrap on it, and you see that that dough has risen its fish and touched the saran wrap, take that saran wrap off. Because if you don't, it'll rise up against it. And when you take that saran wrap off, this thing will flop. So there's one. Look how beautiful that is. Be very careful. See how it's risen again to almost twice its size in the bowl. Tighten the side, being very careful. Take the cling wrap off of this one. You'll most likely be good as long as that cling wrap does not touch the dough. If it does, when you pull it off, that dough is just it's gonna go down on you. But here they are. See that how beautiful? Let's go put them in the oven. See that, folks? This is absolutely delicious. When it's done, you can dig out the middle of it, pull your favorite thing in it, like soups, stews, meat, anything. Eat it all up. Let's put them in the oven. I've got my rack right here about medium from the bottom. Don't get it no closer. This thing will burn on the bottom. Let's get the other one. I'm going to set my timer for 30 minutes. So you want to come back. Okay, our bread's been going for about 25 minutes. Around the last five minutes or so, I take this egg wash. All I got is one egg right here. I'm going to use my baster. I'm going to baste the top of both breads, getting it around the sides of the bowl. I'm also, after I baste it with the egg, I'm going to put sesame seeds all over it. So let's go do that now. Your bread's already set. By now, you ain't got to worry about falling. Get my egg wash. I'm simply going to carefully put a light coating on it. Don't put no heavy coat. We ain't trying to fry egg on top of it. <laughs> now I'm taking my sesame seeds and sprinkling all over the top of both of them. Then I'm going to put it back in the oven for about five minutes. Okay, back in the oven. They are done. Let's go get them. Make sure you got some hot mittens on. And by the way, thank you, Jane Smith from Illinois for these. I needed them. <laughs> I know I was using all different kind here. Really didn't never think about buying some new ones and bringing them up here. So thank you so much, Jane, for these. Let's get this out. Oh my goodness, check this out. Comes our first bread bowl. Look at that. <laughs> yes, it is good. And you know, you don't have to use this as a bread bowl. You can also slice it up for bread. Sure it can, let me get the other one out. Here it comes. Look at that, perfect every time. I'm gonna let these things cool about 10 minutes. I'll slice into one for you. So it's been about 10 minutes. I've let the bread rest and cool off just a little bit. It's still popping hot though. Watch how easy it is to pop this bread out of these bowls because you buttered your bowl. Watch this. Just barely go around the 
sides, you ain't got to go way down to the bottom. Just round to the side. Look at that. Look. It's loose. See it? Look at this one. There it is. Most of the time, you don't even have to go all the way around before it pops loose. All right, now let me show you what this looks like. Let's get this one out first. I'm going to slice this one up for you, and I'm going to make a bread bowl out of this one. Grab it up. Oh, it's popping hot. Look at that, everybody. I'm holding it loosely. See that how beautiful? Look at that. No sesame seeds. Now, you don't have to use the sesame seeds if you, don't, if you can't have seeds. You can totally do without them, but you got to have the egg washed. You get this golden brown on top like this. Look how beautiful. See that? That's perfect yeast bread. And it smells like yeast bread, too. All right, let's slice it up. Get that goodness over here. First of all, let me show you this. It's almost, yeah, I can hold it in my hand. Listen to this. Mm-mm-mm. Listen. See that nice top? Even the sides got a little crust. See that how beautiful? Let me turn it upside down so you can see it. Look at that. How gorgeous that is. All right, let's slice it. I'm going to slice it right down the middle, but you can slice it in little pieces of bread if you want it. You can also, if you don't want to use a bread bowl to do this, you can also put them in uh, loaf pans or anything like that and just let it rise up like a little loaf of bread. Let's get into this. Okay, y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? Here we go. Ooh, it's hot. Look at that, how beautiful that bread is. Let me get close. See that? How pretty? Popping hot, beautiful. You can't beat it for homemade. Like I said in the title, everybody, a child can make this. A child can. Just follow the steps like I showed you. Look at that, how beautiful that is. And you know, to be honest with you, with bread, an electric knife works a lot better. That way you ain't gousing into it. An electric knife will just slice right through that thing like it was butter. So if you want to make real nice slices, especially if you want to make them thinner, go ahead and get you an electric knife if you ain't already got one. You'll have no problem. It'll go right through it like melted butter, like I say. Let's set this one aside and I'm gonna show you the bread bowl. Okay, let's get it out. For showing purposes. Okay, number one, you can use this as a bread bowl without the bowl, but if you do, make sure the bowls, the quart and a half bowls that have high sides that are oven safe, have got a flat bottom on it. See that flat bottom? When it's got a flat bottom, it'll stand up on its own. See that? But if you got a rounded bottom, it'll be, you know, you know what I'm talking about. But this one's got a flat bottom. And all you simply do, I'm going to go ahead and put it back in here to, to dig it out. Use a sharp knife and score a round hole, that way your spoon won't mess your bread up and gouge it and make it look all ugly. I'm leaving probably about an inch and a half around the edges. You can do it the way you want to. I'm just scoring this a little around through here with a knife. Making a circle on top of it. Take it all the way around. Ooh, now this stuff's still popping hot. Now see, now that I've got it loose, I can go in with my spoon and dig it out. Make sure you do this first, though. If you don't, it's going to gouge your bread all up. I mean, it's got a good crust. And now we're simply going to spoon it out. How much do you want to spoon out? Look how hot that is. <laughs> maybe you want a cup of soup. You can dig out as much as you want to. You can leave just maybe a half an inch of bread all the way around the bread bowl. Just dig it all out. And we're going to dig a hole in this. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, now just get it and pour it out. I'm going to pour it over here in a bowl. And there you have it. Look at that. What a beautiful popping hot bread bowl. You can't beat it, folks. You can fill that with anything you want to eat bread with. It don't matter. You can fill it with eggs and bacon. It don't matter. The, the sky's the limit. 
And I certainly want to thank everybody for watching me today on Country Boy Cooking with Marshall. I love each and every one of you. Try it. If you've ever been intimidated by yeast bread, it's going to stop when you try this recipe. I can guarantee you. So thank you all for watching again. God bless you. Hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I want to tell everybody, as always, Jesus is Lord. See you next time.